वेलकम विल स्टार्ट विद जोग्राफी पेपर थ्री जनवरी टू थाउजेंड एंड सेवेंटीन द फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन नाउ द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन यर टॉक्स अबाउट रिया रिया इज अ कोस्ट लाइन विच इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सबमर्ज अपलेंट कोर्स शोर एंड दिस इज नॉट अफेक्टेड बाय द ग्लेशियर्स कॉमनली फाउंड इन नॉर्दर्न यूरोपियन रीजन सो फोर वुड बी द करेक्ट आंसर हियर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द इंडियन प्लाटो ओज इट्स एक्जिस्टेंस ड्यू टू एमरजेंस इज द करेक्ट आंसर हियर सो इंडियन प्लाटो ओरिजिनेटेड ड्यू टू द वॉलिक एक्टिविटीज दैट टूक प्लेस एंड इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एन एमरजेंस जोन द नेक्स्ट इज कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव थ्योरी ऑफ जियो सिंक्लाइन वॉज पुट फॉरवर्ड बाय हॉल एंड डाना वी हैव कवर्ड दिस इन आर लेक्चर वेर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट जियो सिंक्लाइन एंड द वेरियस थ्योरीज रिलेटेड टू ओरिजन ऑफ जियो सिंक्लाइन इन डिटेल सो यू कैन रेफर दैट the next question is you have to uh, match the type of dunes with their specific names so longitudinal dunes are known by the name of sea then you have barkans which are the transverse dunes you have reversing dunes which are complex in nature and parabolic dunes are coastal in nature and they are also known as u shaped or parabolic now next is you have to match the various theories of caravan formation and uh, the scholars now this same question was asked in 2014 and has been repeated again however uh, this should be not mallet it should be mallet so it was the mallet theory so two cycle theory <coughs> was given by davis so this is the correct match for the two cycle theory you have water table theory given by swerenton then you have the static water zone theory uh, the uh, the ga the gardner theory which was the static water zone theory and finally the invasion theory which was given by mallet so we have covered this in detail uh, in our explanations about the various theories of caravan formation so you can refer that now next is the lateral planation theory for pediment formation was laid down by now when it was talked about uh, the pediment formation gilbert was the one who is known and gilbert talked about how short streams led to lateral planation theory and uh, the erosional process now hawaiian island is a region of volcanic activity that is true convergent plate margins are the site of volcanic activity that's again true but this is not an explanation for hawaiian island because hawaiian island lies in the center of the pacific uh, uh, plate and it's an example of hot spot and it's not an example of convergent or divergent plate boundaries so both the statements are independently correct but this does not explain the hawaiian island volcanic activities hawaiian island is indeed a kind of hot spot a volcanic hot spot that exists so both are correct but the reason is not a correct explanation two would be the correct answer here next question what is ba bar tropic so you have isobars and isotherms which are running parallel to one another so isobars and isotherms are parallel to one another would be the correct answer next question you have to mix, uh, write the precipitation efficiency with the surface conditions so this we have already covered in one of our lectures where we have talked about this in detail so you have the table here which talks about the various humidity zones and the precipitation index so you have forest which ranges from 64 to 127 then you have the grasslands which range from 32 to 63 you have deserts which are very less below 16 and rain forest which are above 127 so these are the correct matches and the various humidity zones that are given uh, under the pe index that we have studied now next is the amount of uh, the volume in the dry air so carbon dioxide is the least that's point uh, sorry 0.03% then you have argon as 0.93 nitrogen is maximum that 78 and oxygen is nearly 21% so this is the correct match for this question now next tropical climates are of special geographical interest that's true and over 50% of the world population uh, lies between 30 degrees and north and south so reason is incorrect assertion is correct so uh, a is true r is false and nearly 75% of the population lie in the tropical lands so that's the correct answer next question the symbol aw refers to so the tro tropical savanna is known as the aw next is latent heat derived from condensed water vapor is the main source of energy for the formation of hurricanes so two would be the correct answer here 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द करेक्ट एवरेज एयर मास डेंसिटी एट द सर्फेस ऑफ द वर्ड so as you can see at the surface of the earth this is the curve for the density and this is 1.5 and this is 0 so this is somewhat below 1.5 so this would be 1.2 would be the correct answer here so 1.2 this is 1.2 incorrectly typed here so this would be the correct answer next is uh there is a rate of fall of points is degrees per 100 meters in which of the following layers so troposphere is the correct layer uh, where you have the temperature that falls at a rate of 0.6 degree celsius per 100 meters rise in the height next question is desertification in semi arid areas is owed to the overgrazing activity greater river flood intensity is seen in urban areas you have increasing coastal erosion problems which are seen as an effect of groans up on the coast so building near the coastline would be an example of this and run off from a new road would be an example of gully development in a valley bottom area so these are the correct matches now next question is who was the first to put the life form that exist in plants in 1934 so it was uh, ronicker who tried to explain the life forms in plants in 1934 so ronicker is the correct answer here the next question is an important question you have the oceanic crust that is nearly 2.9 we tell it's nearly 3 or 2.9 then you have the continental crust which is 2.4 the continental margin is close to oceanic crust so would be much denser so it would be nearly 2.8 and the sea water would be 1.03 so these are the correct matches for this question now next is what are the various layers known as so as you can see in the draw, uh, diagram the uppermost layer the surface layer is known as the epipelagic layer okay then you have the deep sea trenches which are known as hadal pelagic so deep sea trenches would be the hadal pelagic this whole zone the water column is known as the pelagic zone and you have sorry uh, the surface layer is known as the epipelagic i matched it wrong so this is known as the epipelagic so this would be d and finally c bottom is the base which is the benthic zone so this would be c so this would be the correct answer for question 19 now next question which of the following is the correct average slope for the uh, correct slope angle for the continental slope so you have the continental shelf followed by the continental slope and the continental slope is nearly 4 degrees so correct answer would be 2 that is 4 degrees next question coral reefs tend to be extensively developed along the eastern edges of the continents that's true as you can see in the diagram below most of the eastern edges of the continents have the coral reefs and the sea water is warmer than 20 degrees is the basic condition for this to be true so both the statements are true next question which of the following is the main chemical composition for the coral reef so cco3 that's calcium carbonate is the correct answer next question the transition zone between two ecosystems is known as ecotone so ecotone is the transition between two ecosystems or two biomes we call it as ecotone the next is la geographic humane is the book that has been written by bruns so bruns is the correct answer here again a very direct question and finally uh, geography was defined as a chorological science by hetner so the correct answer again here is 2 that is hetner so with this we cover the first set of 25 questions for geography paper 3 january 2017 we'll be covering the remaining 50 questions in the upcoming next two lectures you can subscribe to our channel for more updates on geography have a good day ahead